So you've just found out that your partner's cheated on you and now you're wondering what to do next. So many things are going around your head right now. You're wondering how, why, where, when and who with. Being cheated on is like a stab in the back and a kick in the stomach. You feel sick, sad and as though you're not enough. But what if I told you it doesn't have to be like that? The reasons your partner cheated doesn't matter. The fact that they did, does. This is a reflection on their character, not on yours. Sure, you may have contributed in some way to a breakdown in relations with this person, but ultimately, this isn't on you. You may be wondering, can you forgive this person? I'd say maybe you can, but I'll also tell you, you'll never forget. That act of disloyalty will forever be imprinted in your mind. You'll be anxious as to whether you can trust them again. Every time their phone beeps, you'll be wondering who it is. When they're late home from work, you may find yourself accusing them of being elsewhere. So where do you go from here? Well, the first step is to take some time out. If your partner's begging forgiveness, tell them you need some time alone and without contact for a while and take as long as you need. Don't let them press you into making a decision just because they're feeling uncomfortable and anxious. This is your life and your decision. So if you need a few days or a few weeks to decide, then that's your prerogative. During this time, you can really reflect on what brought you here. Maybe you'll see that you did have a part to play in the breakdown. Have you been behaving in ways that are destructive to your relationship? If you have, then I'd advise you to check out this video above where you'll learn what behaviours can be toxic to a relationship. By taking time to reflect and understand your own actions, you may even gain a new perspective and may possibly be able to save your relationship by effective communication and really listening to your partner about how it got to this stage and what you can do going forward. However, if your partner doesn't want to work this out or you find that your actions don't justify what they did, then the best thing you can do is walk away. Self-respect is the ultimate driving force to having relationships with people who deserve our time, energy and love. If you've been giving more than you get in return and they've still done this, then this isn't a person that you want to be with. If this breakup is permanent, then consider yourself to have a lucky escape. If you want marriage and children, then there's somebody out there that will be a better fit. You don't want to build a marriage and family life with somebody who doesn't respect you enough to be faithful to you. And if you're married and have a family with this person, then I'd strongly suggest that you find a good lawyer who specifies in family law. You need to focus on yourself right now. Take the time to reflect on the relationship you had with your partner. Sometimes we don't see the wood for the trees when we're in the thick of a situation. By taking time to yourself, you may pick up on other parts that weren't right. You may come to realise that they never fully supported you before this. Were they expert liars? Did they ever show you any appreciation? If any of these factors ring true for you, then you may start to see that you're better off without them. The sooner you can do this, the sooner you will start to heal. It's okay to feel sad and mourn the end of a relationship, but please keep this very brief. Have a day or two, cry and eat ice cream, but get yourself together as quickly as possible. Rather than thinking about what you may have lost, think about what you've gained. You've gained an experience that has taught you a lesson and the coping skills to go with it. You've gained a knowledge and understanding about relationships and the behaviours that you don't want or need. And you've gained the freedom to put your own needs first and attract someone who will give you the relationship that you deserve. The more you focus on yourself, the less you'll focus on someone who hurt you and in time they'll just become a distant memory and a memory you'll be thankful that you're no longer living. For more information on whether your relationship is over for good, then you must check out this next video. It will help you to understand why relationships just don't work out sometimes. I hope this has helped. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and add in your comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.